With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So we have two coils in the question and two coils have different self-inductance. The self-inductance of the first coil they are giving it as 4 millihenry and the second coil is having a self-inductance of 1 millihenry respectively. The currents in two coils are increased at the same rate. So at a certain instant of time both the coils are given the same power. If I1 and I2 uh, see currents are also increased at the same rate and they are giving the same power. So if I1 and I2 are the currents in two coils at that instant of time respectively then the value of I1 by I2. So you are supposed to find the ratio of the currents of the two coils. Now uh, if uh, voltage of the if they are giving you the same power let's write the equation for V. Okay. And uh, V the induced EMF is nothing but the voltage of that battery or voltage of that coil. No? So V1 will be equal to L1 into dI1 by dt. Similarly the second one V2 will be equal to L2 into dI2 by dt. It is by the equation of um, self inductance. We will use we are using here the general equation the induced EMF is equal to L into dI by dt is the equation. So this equation we are using it for both. This induced EMF is nothing but the voltage in that coil no that is why we are replacing it as V. Now they what they are saying they are saying that the power is seen at any instant of at a certain instant of the time the coils have the same power. So if the power is same if you are saving power is same. What is the equation of power? We know P is equal to V into I know. So V1 I1 is equal to V2 I2 you can tell. So in place of V1 and V2 we will substitute it so that you will get it as I1 uh, for I2 V2 we will substitute that. I2 we will write it as it is. I2 into L2 into dI2 by dt. Now in this uh, L1 and L2 are given right L1 is uh, 4 millihenry and L2 is 1 millihenry. So this becomes 4 I1 into dI1 by dt is equal to I2 into dI2 by dt. And once was in this question they are saying that the two coils are increased the currents in two coils are increased at the same rate. So the rate at which the current is increased from 0 is same. So you can say that di1 since they are making a statement that current is increased in same rate. Which means that if it is increased in same rate it means that di1 by dt is equal to di2 by dt. So these two gets cancelled. So you will be writing it as uh, 4 I1 is equal to I2. Now we have to write the ratio of currents now I1 by I2 will be equal to 1 by 4. So this is the ratio of the currents I1 by I2. So it is option B will be the right answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.